Welcome back to another episode of Creative Cooking with Evan. Today, we're gonna make one of my most fun, most excellent recipes, pizza dippers. Basically, it's pizza on a skewer that you dip inside of some red sauce that we're gonna make. So, let's first start by making the red sauce. I've used some of this scalafane crushed tomatoes, but you can use whatever sort of crushed tomatoes or tomato, red tomato, can of red tomato sauce that you get in the store. So I have this simmering on the stove top over there. And so this is a great time for you to kind of smell some herbs and sort of think about what you like your pasta sauce to smell like. Thyme, uh, rosemary, some of my favorite, and uh, bay leaves are always great. So we're gonna cut up a few of, a little bit of rosemary. You can get your parents to help you with this cutting. Although you don't really need to cut it up too fine. You can just sort of give it a loose chop. Put in some rosemary and a bay leaf into our sauce. So, whoops, <laughs> no big deal. Okay, so you, when you're cooking with bay leaves, you really don't need any more than one. One bay leaf per pot is usually a good amount. So, let's put our herbs into our sauce. I already have the red uh, tomato sauce kind of cooking. Now, let's finish seasoning. Salt and pepper is a must. So I got this nifty little pepper grinder and some salt and that's it you don't really need to do much to a sauce I would say you can add some balsamic vinegar if you like and I like to finish it with a little bit of butter but for now we're gonna stir this up and we're gonna let this cook a little bit so let's start give it a little loose stir a loose stir and you know what I'm gonna show you a little secret of cooking with me a little bit, a little secret. Well, I can't actually find it. Oh, there it is. Sorry. Put it over here. Adobo. This is all-purpose seasoning. It's great if you don't want to have your garlic and onion powder, powder separate. I usually have them together anyway. And it works out pretty good. So put a little bit of that in there and bring it to a simmer. And there you go. You have a real nice, easy marinara sauce. A rice, easy sort of pizza dipping sauce. So... Let's come back over here and let's start making our skewers. So, the first thing you need to do is you need to get your mise en place. That's French for everything in its right place. Before you start cooking, try to make sure that you have everything you need out and available. Keeping a nice, neat, clean workspace and not inviting chaos into your cooking can really be helpful. You can really cut down on stress and make sure you're having fun. So, these are just some wooden shish kebab skewers. You can find these at your local uh, grocery store. So let's take a look at what I have here. I have some pepperoni, some little balls of mozzarella, cherry tomatoes, red peppers, and olives and mushrooms. You can have whatever you want and do whatever you uh, whatever you like with it. So let's start with some pepperoni. So I'm gonna take a slice of this and we're gonna kind of fold it into four. Stick that on your skewer. There you go. You can also cut it in half if you don't want so much. So then I'm going to take a little one of these little mozzarella balls. Again, you can find these at any any of your grocery stores. You can also do it with round slices of mozzarella, and and or, or get a ball of mozzarella and simply slice it. Then I'm going to get one of these cherry tomatoes. Brilliant. Whoops, whoa, 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 whoops. That didn't go quite as planned, but you know what? It's part of cooking, getting creative, getting a little silly. And I love olives, so I'm gonna have one of some of these black olives too. Yum. This is a great way to have some fun with your family during quarantine, because you can set up a whole buffet line and really have a good time. Now, I'm gonna leave mushrooms out, because I think mushrooms are garbage food for garbage people. But if you wanna eat them and be a garbage person, that's fine, no problem here. So. Let's finish it off with another mozzarella ball. And there you go, you kind of have a nice pizza dipper. But you know what, I want a little bit more meat on here. So I'm gonna take another slice of pepperoni and I'm just gonna make a little half slice. Let's cut it in half. Fold it in half, fold it in a quarter. Oh, wow, maron, straight out of Italy. So make a few skewers, uh, you know, two or three per person should be good and then Taste your sauce. 
You can use a spoon, but I'm kind of a crazy guy, so I'm, it's tasting good. I really like this brand of, um, whoop, of tomato because you can really taste the freshness of the tomato. You know, you don't want your tomatoes to be this bland red garbage. You really want them to make sure that they taste fresh and you can sort of taste the tomatoes inside them. So here's a little trick that I've learned to help finish your sauces. A little bit of butter goes a long way. So per one can of uh, tomato sauce, I would say half a tablespoon to tablespoon of butter is great. So simply put that in there, let it cook and stir, 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 stir. And there you go. This is a great recipe to kind of help you express your creativity. You know, you get to make your own skewers. You can, uh, you can make your own sauce. It's a great way for you to sort of learn about the way different things taste, what sort of herbs you like, and what sort of stuff that you like in that way. So once the sauce is finished, it's going to take a little bit longer than this, but for the sake of this video, we don't need to let it go all the way. Whoops, 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 I'm a human disaster today. So, stir it up, and that butter is just gonna give it an extra layer of richness, and an extra level, what are you doing? An extra level of richness, and an extra level of flavor. So, let your sauce simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. You can go longer, but at least 10 to 15 minutes to let the sort of uh, flavors convalesce. And when that happens, dish them up into a bowl, and you dip away. It's great fun, super, super creative, and a great way to spend the evening. Enjoy.